everyone. Today we're going to walk through a guided tour of SCCOM's cloud-based takeoff and estimating solution. When you first log in, you'll land on what's known as the Project Dashboard. The Project Dashboard is where you manage projects that you're estimating. Let's get started by drilling into a project we created earlier today. Now we are on the Project Details page. This is where you enter project specific details like customer name, address, bid due date, and assign to a team estimator. Let's click on plans to view the plans we've uploaded for this project. We've uploaded a PDF set of plans for the project we're estimating today. Here you have a couple options. First, you can delete any unwanted plans, and you can also rotate or rename the plans. Now, let's jump to the takeoff screen where most of the action will take place today. Before we get started with counting and measuring, I want to go over a few basic navigation details and tools on the page. First, you'll notice I'm able to move the plan around with my mouse, and I'm also able to zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. Up top we have our plan navigation tool. This feature allows us to toggle between plans as we're performing takeoffs. Before we can begin counting and measuring items on the plans, we first have to set a plan scale to ensure that measurements are accurate. You can do that in two ways. One, using the common scales depicted on the plan. Or two, you can manually set a plan scale by measuring a known distance, such as a doorway, a desk, or if there's a predefined measurement on the plan, you can use that as well. In this case, we're going to set our plan scale to 1 8 inch, which is depicted on the drawing. Now we can apply this scale to all sheets within the drawing or to this individual plan. Let's go ahead and do that now. Once the scale's been set, we can begin our takeoff process. Now in today's example, we'll be estimating the expansion of a customer's existing space to include three rows of furniture. Now the cable tray and telecom room are in place, but we'll need to add a cable pathway, cable runs, work area outlets, and patch panels in the telecom room. Let's begin by taking off the Category 6 work area outlets using our pre-built Belden 2-port CAT6 modular furniture drops. Click Add New Takeoff and search for the desired material. It's good to note that we include a generic database similar to what you see here but you can build a custom database with multiple catalogs of parts and assemblies from various manufacturers. Once you locate the desired assembly or part, select the takeoff type, either count, linear, or area, symbol, size, and color, and then click Add to Plan. Once the item is added to the plan, it's by default in takeoff mode meaning you can click and begin counting or measuring items on the plans. Let's go through and take off all the modular furniture drops on the three rows of furniture. Now that we've taken off the work area outlets, let's add a J-hook pathway. Let's search for some 2-inch J-hooks with red iron attachments. For J-hooks, we want to use what's called a linear to each takeoff type. This allows us to convert a linear distance to a quantity to account for the four foot installation intervals that we'll use. Again, choose a color and click add to plan. As before, you start off in takeoff mode. Let's click here where the cable will exit the cable tray and extend the J-hook pathway all the way to a wall. And then let's do the same for the other two rows. You'll notice over to the left we have 128 linear feet measurement for the takeoff. Now we need to convert this to the number of J-hooks that we're going to use. You can do this by opening the takeoff property box and adjusting the installation spacing. So again, 4 feet. That adjusts the resulting count to 32 total J-hooks. Now that our J-hook pathway is in place, let's add our cable. Click Add Takeoff. Let's select this Belden Cat6 plenum rated cable that's blue. And in this case, we're going to use what's called a linear average with drop. This allows you to measure a linear distance by taking average samples to come up with your average cable length. 
Click Add to Plan. So to begin the takeoff, simply left click and begin your measurement. Let's go to this first row of furniture first. It appears to be our longest run. We're going to run the cable to the wall. As you can imagine, it's going to drop down the wall and into a furniture feed. And then we're going to get our longest measurement on the row just to be safe. Double click. Now go back to the telecom rack again. And let's get our second measurement again to the wall. We're going to drop down the wall. And I'll show you how to account for the drop here in a minute. Double click, and then let's get our last sample. Notice over to the left, it's already giving us an average based on the samples we have to this point. As you can see, we have 125 foot average. Now let's make adjustments to the drop length. In this particular building, we have 10 foot walls, and we have a drop at the outlet area as well as the telecom room. So let's add 20 additional feet which bumps our average to 145 foot average. Now, let's add in the total number of cable drops to get our footage. So in this case, we have 36 cable drops and there are two porters, so that equals 72 total cable drops. And as you can see, we're gonna need 10,419 foot of cable to accommodate these cable runs. Now that doesn't include waste or anything like that, but I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. Now, Let's take a look at the estimating page and see how the takeoff data flows directly into estimating, is ready for markup, adjustments, and eventually sending a customer facing bid. As you can see, we've broken our estimate out into two logical groups, cable trim out and rough in. And our material pricing from the database, labor rates, and total project costs are already calculated for us. In our next video, we'll cover making adjustments here. For now, I hope you've enjoyed the guided tour and we look forward to helping your team win lots of projects.